हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन टू दी फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन सॉल्वेंट एक्सट्रैक्शन सी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग ऑन एक्सट्रैक्शन प्रोसेस एंड ग्राफ ऑफ परसेंटेज एक्सट्रैक्शन वर्सेस पीएच so in this lecture we are going to learn the solid phase extraction so in this case first we will see the principle of the solid phase extraction see normally in solvent extraction we have seen there is no any solid phase is there only liquid system or phases we have used but in this extraction we are using a solid stationary phase in spe that is solid phase extraction technique hydrophobic organic compound is coated or chemically bonded to powdered silica to form solid extracting phase see that means hydrophobic nature organic compound that are coated or chemically bonded along with the silica to form solid extracting phase the organic compounds can be non polar moderately polar or polar example of that an octa desyl c18 bonded silica actually it is one of the type of silica material is a common packing material the functional group bonded to the packing and attract hydrophobic compounds in the sample by van der waals interactions and extract them from the aqueous solution by using organic solvent like methanol see that means the set c18 type of silica material will be used as a packing in case of making the solid stationary phase in case of solid phase extraction in that case the functional group present on that material that will be attracted hydrophobic compounds by van der waal forces and that can extract from the aqueous solution by using solvent like a methanol so this is the principle of solid phase extraction now we will see the process but before the procedure or can say process first we will see that schematic diagram of that solid phase extraction or the solid phase extractor so this is the schematic or can say solid phase extractor which is the small cartridge type the sample in this cartridge is placed and the pressure is applied by a syringe alternatively a vacuum can be used to pull the sample through the extracting agent see in this case see this part this this syringe up to this this will be the syringe in between there is adapter here this part will be the sample and this one will be the solid extraction phase this will be the free okay so in this case 
this syringe will be used to apply pressure either air or nitrogen okay that will be connected to this part with the help of this adapter but before that this will be the removable part this adapter will be removed and from this top we can add the sample material above on this solid extraction phase this solid extraction phase will be previously inserted into or coated into this part of this extractor below there will be the feet from that the extracted component will be eluted and that will be collected into the beaker or any kind of apparatus okay so in this case before or sorry after coating the solid phase the sample solution will be added into this then the adapter will be used to connect this syringe this syringe consists of either air or nitrogen gas when we apply pressure by using this syringe then what will happen this sample present into this part that will be going through this solid phase extractor or concentrate the sample into this solid phase extractor when we add the solvent organic solvent that is methanol from this from the top then the sample will get, will get extracted through this fruit into via this needle or can say point it can be eluted and collected into the beaker so this is the simple small cartridge that will be used for the solid phase extraction now again we will see actual procedure of this solid phase extraction a typical cartridge system for a solid phase extraction is shown in above figure just we have seen the sample is placed in the cartridge and pressure see this is not the procedure there is pressure is applied by the syringe or from an air or nitrogen gas a vacuum can be used to pull the sample through the extractor what is the purpose of the vacuum that we are creating with the help of syringe that will be useful for what to pull the sample through the extracting solid phase extractant organic molecules are then extracted from this sample and concentrated in the solid phase they can later extracted from the solid phase by a solvent such as methanol that will be generally the organic solvent that will be the methanol will be used for the extraction of that sample molecule by extracting particular component from the large volume of water and then flushing them out with a small volume of solvent see by extracting particular or okay say single component from the larger volume of water for that we have to flush out with the help of small volume of solvent in addition to packed cartridge cartridge solid phase extraction can be carried out by using small membrane or extraction disk see below there will be we have seen in figure the fruit will be there that that place we can keep the small membrane or extraction disk also for what to carry out is the extraction process it will reduce extraction time and also reducing more solvent use
see what is the purpose of that extraction this it will reduce is what extraction time that means whatever time required before or you can say other than extraction is rather than that we require very less time for the extraction process and reducing extra solvent also solid phase extraction can be done in continuous flow system which can automated the pre concentration process so this is the procedure or can say process of the solid phase extraction in a small cartridge that we have seen now we will see the applications of the solid phase extraction it is useful for environmental studies second one determination of organics in drinking water third impurity profiling of pharmaceuticals fourth analysis of wine and other alcoholic beverages fifth one determination of drugs of abuse and prescribed drugs in biological fluids so this is the applications now advantages of solid phase extraction over solvent extraction using cartridge interferences are removed selectivity is high and sensitivity is increases see by using cartridge system interferences that we can remove but in case of solvent extraction that process we cannot remove the interferences in this case selectivity is also high and sensitivity sensitivity also increases extracted extract is very clean that means there is no impurity present into the extract that we have extracted from the solid phase extraction process allow phase exchange from emulsion to solid phase extraction cartridge extracted extracts concentration is condition solvent consumption is very low so see in this case the mobile phase or you can say the solvent which is used for extraction process that will be very low now the limitations of solid phase extraction greater cost per sample required obviously it is costly one lengthy method development greater complexity and difficult to master its uses now we are moving to last part of this topic that is comparison between solid phase extraction and solvent extraction this is the comparison chart of the solvent extraction process and solid phase extraction process see first point in solvent extraction extraction is done with a water immiscible solvent but in case solid phase extraction extraction is done with powdered phase like silica large volume of organic solvents are used in case of solvent extraction in case of solid phase extraction solvent requirement is are reduced needs to be carried out manually amenable to automation automation 
may be required back extraction in case of surround extraction in case of solid phase extraction easier recovery of analyte as a less solvent to be evaporated extracting solvent which must be water immiscible that will be are limited elating solvents need not be water immiscible possibility of immersion formation as the extracting solvent is water immiscible no chance of immersion formation second last from the solvent extraction easier to perform difficulty in usage and method development last point from the solvent extraction that is less expensive solid phase extraction will be greater cost per sample so these are the dis distinguishing points in between the solvent phase extraction and solvent extraction so thank you dear student